And I guess now the narrative out there is that they, they're not supposed to be here. They're young. They've got flaws. It's coming down, and, and now the rubber's starting to meet the road. It's just been one of those nights where you, know, you talk about bad luck. Turnovers, coverages, any part of the game. I mean, the wheels come off. We're talking tragic numbers now moving forward. The 0 6 and 2 in their last eight games, and another serious gut punch. Six score! Nine for Montreal tonight. Trying to get some of our dignity back, and I don't think we're ready to be better, and that's my problem. Tough times for Philadelphia Flyers. Their season is crumbling. Three games to go. Here is where they stand in the Eastern Conference wild card standings. It's not looking good at this moment, and it didn't help that last night's game was a 9-3 loss to Montreal. And, Rupper, you know, we chatted earlier today. You said it was just bad. There's really no other way to describe that loss yeah. last night. It, it was um, pretty demoralizing, the, the score for certain, but the way it happened. Mm. I mean, everything that this team was trying to pride themselves in being and in, in not allowing happen happened last night. I mean, their defensive awareness was just, it wasn't there. And that's what's so tough, I think, is you're sitting there in those moments in a, a game where you know it's been going bad for you and you need a moment. You're up in Montreal and it's a team that, you know, you should be able to beat when your playoff lives are on the line. And just to have the structure just fall out from under you, that, I think that that's the hardest thing. Uh, this 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 group, I, I feel for these guys because they they played so hard this year, and it's just kind of falling apart for them down the stretch. Yeah, you know, if it had happened, we talked about this in our production meeting today. If it had happened in the reverse order, you know, struggle early, surge late, we'd be talking about this team in a completely different context. But is that fair? You know, here here's the thing. At the end of the day. Did you or I have this team on our bingo card for a postseason berth at the start of the year? I, I mean, I don't think so. Um, it was, you know, it, a, a perfect path. Um, sure, it was possible for them, but this is a team in transition. Mission one for Coach Tortorello has really been reshape the culture here, reshape yeah. the identity here. Let's get going in the right direction. We'll add pieces as we go, and our and our our young prospects and people will mature over time. But like, I think it's important to just pull back a step and look at this group. Like, you had your number one, your de facto number one to start the year, Carter Hart, subtracted from the equation. You've foisted big minutes on guys like Urson. I mean, um, what do you expect from yeah. these guys when developmentally you're you're putting them in situations that you didn't envision them being in for another two years out? This team has since late January, around that time. Has a, has a club save percentage of 844. Like, that's, you know, that's that's a real tough road to hoe. Um, and I, too, I, I think there is some objectivity kind of coming into Coach Tortorello's comments around this team. It, 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 three, four weeks ago, it was a lot of scorched earth, and, you know, these guys got to be better, and, you know, he's, he's really calling the group out. And I think now, I think he's taken a little perspective and recognizes he has put, has had to put some people in some tough spots and you know they're moving in the right direction this could be viewed to me as a step forward for this season as a step forward from philly even if they should fall short of the top eight right yeah, yeah 100%. Well, i think that's fair it is fair but when you look at their schedule ahead i mentioned there's three games remaining uh those three games are not easy they are at new york on thursday night to face the rangers they host the devils on saturday and then against washington a team that currently sits in that final wild card spot who you know is going to be grinding the regular season lots ends to next play week. for lots yeah to play for so this is a, you know this is a very challenging road ahead for the philadelphia flyers they, so. they have to win out mm -hmm. they have to win out and, and then that and need game, help and in the in that caps game not allow the caps to get a point uh, i mean there's a lot of, uh, yeah you got Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh's playing Detroit uh, tomorrow. And Pittsburgh's playing the Islanders still. So, like, you, you need a lot of perfect placed yeah. points yeah. in order to get in. But all they can control and how they, what they do is how they react to their situation. Right. And just try to play the right way down the stretch here. Um, that's a phrase you hear Torts say a lot. Um, it, it's, I really think the future is bright mm -hmm. for this organization. I would agree. This is part of the process. Mm -hmm. Playing and being competitive for 82 games, in a, it's tough. Yeah. How many years do we see all the time? There's every single year there's two teams that start in the first 25 games 
They've come out of nowhere, and they're they're leading their division. Yeah. And by the end of the year, they missed the playoffs by 20 points. Yeah. It's a hard league. That's part of it. Learn that it's a hard league, and this should help them next year. I think they're done. I don't see how they get in. Mm -hmm. uh, I just don't like it happening like this. Yeah, they but the positives so to take from it, the future is bright. And they are trying to instill a new culture there in Philadelphia. You know, they are all buying into what the organization wants. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's worked so far this season at various points. But you mentioned key pieces being gone doesn't help. Yeah, so no. three Real games blow. remaining for the Flyers. Uh, good luck. We'll see. We'll keep our eye on it, of course.